and we watch Press TV's news review where we look deeper into some of the top stories of the day. Stay tuned. On this news review, the Russian envoy to international organizations in Vienna has described as desperate U.S. attempts to rejoin the 2015 Iran nuclear agreement. Uh, Mikhail Ulyanov made a comment in a tweet exactly two years after U.S. President Donald Trump pulled his country out of the deal. The Russian representative said the withdrawal has undermined security in the Persian Gulf. He said the move also pushed Iran to scale back its nuclear restriction commitments under the agreement. Reports have recently emerged that the U.S. is preparing an argument that it's still a member of the deal despite having unilaterally abandoned it. The move is purportedly aimed at keeping in place an arms embargo against Iran that is due to expire in a few months. Well, joining us on this edition of the News Review, we have political affairs analyst Yanis uh, Kutsamiris, uh, who's with us from Athens. Also, uh, Lawrence Davidson, former lecturer at Westchester University, is also uh, with us now from Westchester. Gentlemen, welcome to the program. Let's start off with Mr. Uh, Kutsamiris in Athens. Uh, give us your take uh, and your perspective on the recent comments coming from the Russian uh, envoy, who has also uh, um, criticized the U.S.'s stance on uh, trying to, uh, to be in and out of the JCPOA as it pleases. Well, the, the anniversary of the withdrawal of the U.S. from uh, the agreement is a sad incident because there's no progress in uh, peace in the region. Uh, the agreement, uh, uh, I think it was a diplomatic success, and uh, it, the withdrawal of the U.S. is a setback for international law order and also for the peace efforts in the Middle East in general. So I think uh, right now what needs to be done is to bring back the U.S., the Trump administration, to the table and try to revive the agreement again because I don't see there is no other way for peace and nuclear uh, entente in the region. Okay, uh, Lawrence Davidson, uh, I'd like to get your thoughts on uh, what our guest in Athens just said. He believes that uh, the U.S. needs to get back into the deal to renegotiate it, but that's not why the U.S. wants to get back into the deal, or is pretending that it wants to get back into the deal. Uh, they have their sights set on the snapback clause for the United Nations um, right. sanctions on Iran. What do you have to say about that? Uh, yeah, I think that uh, <clears throat> the only way this administration will come back to the table is if uh, the table is wiped clean and they can dictate a much harsher kind of treaty. And that's not going to happen. Um, nor do I think that anybody is going to be particularly bamboozled or, or uh, you know, uh, sort of taken in by, by this, uh, this, you know, we're not out, we're in kind of argument. But it is re really typical of, of the Trump administration. The Trump administration <clears throat> has no interest in peace. They have no interest in law and order, that's for sure. And what they essentially, how they essentially operate is that what they think, what they project as in their best interest, that's reality, okay? Nobody else's reality really counts. Um, and so they really, it's a really, it's, it's a pathological position, actually. They can't tell the difference between their own policy statements and the external reality. And so they'll bully and they'll bluff and, uh, and they'll threaten. And the Europeans might very well, you know, give in to them because of the threats. But it's not going to move anything forward. Mr. Davidson, the Russian envoy, he said the withdrawal from the JCPOA by the United States, uh, it undermined security in the Persian sure. Gulf. Are a lot of the tensions that we're seeing right now as a result <coughs> of that to U.S.'s absolutely. unilateral move? Sure, absolutely. I mean, we would be in a very different world if uh, Trump had not, um, not won the presidency, um, uh, at least in terms of the Iran deal. Um, so, yeah, but uh, the, the point is that this administration doesn't care about security. They'll, 
you know, they'll drive the Iranians just short of a point of attack and then move back. And if the Iranians do attack, it's their fault. I mean, the killing um, Soleimani was arbitrary, absolutely arbitrary. Um, so that's who we're dealing with. We're dealing here with criminals. Mr. Koutoumidis in Athens, do you think that uh, the U.S. President Donald Trump has jeopardized the security in the Persian Gulf, in the region, with his unilateral actions? Well, uh, I think to a certain extent, yes, because the, the agreement was uh, a fruit of a very hard negotiations between multilateral uh, powers, the, the Russians, the Chinese, the, Euro the European Union, and the previous administration worked very hard to achieve this agreement. And then, for some reasons, some may find them legitimate, uh, but the clause, the, the sunset clause agreement could be negotiated in the next months, and there was no real legitimate cause to withdraw from the agreement. So I think the, the, the security in the region has been set back by this unilateral decision. I think what is next now, what comes next, is the international powers, both the China, Russia, the European Union, need to come up and try to convince the United States to come up again on the negotiating table and try to find a solution to this crisis. Because it's not fair to the international order, it's not fair to international law, and it's not fair to the Iranian people who are suffering from the consequences of this withdrawal. All right, thank you, gentlemen. And political affairs analyst Yanis Koutsamidis joining us from Athens. And also thanks to uh, Lawrence Davidson speaking to us from Westchester. That's it with this edition of the News Review. But uh, stay tuned. There's plenty more to come here on Press TV.